Hello everyone, my name is Luigi Pengera, I'm a photographer, a graphic designer, and sometimes I'm a filmmaker. And in this tutorial, this is part two, we're going to export a DVD within Adobe Encore CS3 using the files that we exported in the previous part. So let's start by creating a new project. And let's give this a name, Sicily Movie and offering mode we want a DVD obviously television standard now I'm gonna choose PAL because I live in Australia if you live in America you would choose NTSC and the dimensions it's grayed out but that's okay because it's 720 by 576 and that is the standard for for DVD video format the frame rate is 25 interlaced and that is because I live in Australia and that is what the power standard conforms to codec MPEG-2 great and we press OK and that's pretty much it so Adobe Encore is will take a moment to breathe and when it's done having breather here it is so we can give this disc a name let's give it Sicily and let's import the files that we created so we go to file import let's find the file we, we created earlier and here they are these two so Sicily film and we've got both the video component which is this one and the audio component we need to select both don't worry about that one that was our previous file but we need to select both the visual and audio components of the film that we exported from Adobe Premiere CS3 and we click open and Adobe Encore has imported both files great so next let's, let's create a new timeline so with the project pane open we click on this little icon here and go to timeline and it creates our timeline so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our video component and we're going to drag it onto video here and let's going to click on our audio component I'm going to drag it to here if we zoom in a little bit now on this monitor window we can preview it to see if the audio and the video syncs up so let's do this and press play and yep it seems like it's synced up let's give this timeline a name let's call it Sicily building click out of it and there we go so the two files that were created both the video file and the audio file we're putting it into a new timeline and this is what's going to be used to create our DVD video disc now the reason why I made a tutorial about exporting it uh, into two separate files is because if we get the original file uh, in one package with both the audio and the visual component in a single file and we drag it there it's going to take longer to off the DVD and offer uh, to burn the disk so if we split into two parts it's going to be less tasking let, let's less taxing words on our DVD burner so let's check the flow chart what we want to do is go to click on the disk here Sicily disk we go to first play and we go to our file which is called our timeline which is called Sicily building we're going to select chapter one you can also click and drag this pick whip and select the our timeline that we created so this specifies according to our flow chart the first play, the first thing that we played on that disc will be the Sicily Building Chapter 1. Great. So if we click on the Sicily Building Timeline, actual surf, and we can see because it's highlighted blue across here. And we can do a number of things. We can have a loop back if we select the timeline again and Chapter 1, or we can specify stop. Let's use stop for now for the purpose of this video. And we can see the aspect ratio 16 by 9 is grayed out and that's good it's 
sets the standard and it conforms to our station. So now let's build it. So go to the build tab right here. Source, current project, let's keep that. Write speed, let's keep it f the same for now. Um, we're on a one-sided DVD and we're going to enable all regions. Now I like to choose enable all regions specifically because if you got someone who lives in a different country they may not be able to play it on their machine. So best to keep it on all regions. And copy protection let's select unlimited copies are allowed just in case you want to burn a few copies of your fantastic film production to your friends. So let's keep it all the same. Now the next step is to check our project which is this button here, click that and all these things are selected and what this does it's going to check for any errors, any dead links, any links to anything that's non-existent it will check it and it will tell us if there's something wrong. So we click on start and it says here title remote not set. What this means if we go back to if we select this again we can set the title button to play the menu and since we haven't done that it's it's told us that we haven't done that. Now since this this particular tutorial we're going to go through a menu list uh, a DVD video without any menus we don't need to worry about this that much. So all we need to do um, I mean you can select you can set the title button but it's not necessary for this tutorial unless you have unless your DVD video project has a menu. So all we need to do is press start and if I had a DVD blank DVD ready to go we could get to burn it and um, that is basically how you burn a DVD disc using uh, an existing DVD formatted movie and audio files. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you and if it has been useful please share this video online with your friends on social media so we can all help each other out. Thank you for watching.